cancers, my cancers. What's up, water babies? What's popping? Did you miss me? <laughs> Thank you all for being so patient because I definitely missed you all as well. I've been trying to get everything situated when it comes to my mood and so much other stuff I have going on. So you guys, please, please, please forgive me. Charge it to my damn mind, not my heart, because I love some of you, okay? Also, this will be uh, from the 1st to the 15th of November 2019, okay? This message ain't gonna resonate with everybody. Hey, boo, hey, if this is your first time you on my channel, I'm Mocha. Also, if this is your first time you on my channel, look out, I cuss. So if cussing does not work for you, please feel free to find another beautiful reader here on YouTube that can further assist you without cussing, because the way I'm set up, I'm gonna do that. This is my shit, okay? Also, thank you for the likes, the shares, the subscribes, the comments, the readings, the donations, the love, you guys. Thank you. I truly appreciate it from the most humblest space ever. Okay? You all, um, again, this message is not going to... Oh, also, if you will return to subscribe. Family, yeah. What's popping? Y'all showed y'all ass out on them views. I've been trying to get back on here and do me some live streams, but between YouTube and they updates and me and my damn updates and things just popping out of damn nowhere to kind of handle, shit been lit. So I just had to make sure y'all got y'all damn message. I apologize for not getting to you guys to do a mid-month, but as you can see, a few people didn't get mid-months. Have shit going on. I'm actually planning to move out of the state. I'm a single mom. So at the end of the day, you know, y'all, i would be having to push it through. Okay? So also... Any personal reading that information can be found within the description. Again, this is not gonna resonate with everybody. Take what does, leave the rest, okay? That motherfucking shoe is too big, your ass gonna fall trying to put it on. It ain't for you. Alright? So let's get it. We're gonna hop right into the intuitive messages for you uh, that I got for you all during this time. And um, let's get it canceled. Uh some weird stuff happened for y'all. I was only trying to do um one angel message. I actually got three for y'all. And my Barbieri deck is mixed with uh, my angel messages, my work cards. Um, I mix some of my cards together, y'all, okay? Um, and for some of you all, some of y'all could definitely be dealing with the sign of Aries or needing to release an Aries or release the stresses or pressure or, for that matter, the, the, the self. I'm hearing self-persecution around an Aries because that fell out and I was going to put it back and Spirit said, no, I'm going to leave it. So let's rock, all right? All right, so what you guys got for uh, the first half of November, you guys got moving states, self-sabotage, front row seat, evil eye, life path, alignment, unexpected travel, karma, plot twist, temper, abundance, trust, renewals, gossip, empathy, Interference, intentions, unveiling truths, ascension, new love, soul contracts, business contracts, children. Okay? So that's what I got for you all for the first half of November. All right? Overall energy around the reading. I got the two of diamonds. A lot of you all are in the space of needing to make a decision about a person, place, or thing. Okay? When it comes to movement, and I feel like a lot of you are in this space of really overthinking it. I feel like you guys are weighing out the pros and cons during this time. Okay? So I pulled from the Zen, uh, from the Osha Zen Tarot. And what I got for you all was, hold on one second, y'all. Let me cut my little music down because I'm over here. One second. I have to have to get my the music on though. Okay. So what I got for you all was compromise. Okay. Partner with the outsider. Okay. So I also hear I'm hearing family. So for some of you all, this could be you or your partner. Someone's feeling as if they are um having to view a situation or they only see they it's like someone's making a perception or making a judgment from a situation from the outside looking in. However, I feel that there's needing to be some type of compromise. For some of you all, you're wanting to come out of the cold with somebody or somebody's wanting to come out of the cold with you, but there's a need. I feel like this restriction has been put here and that there's some type of realization of this restriction due to someone not really doing the inner work. I feel like they've been looking outside of themselves for that particular validation, which makes it hard for a person to bring compromise in a situation because they're only seeing it from their perspective or from a space of this fear of loss, okay? Um, so someone is needing to do this inner work or someone may feel as if they're restricted, their hands are tied when it comes to a situation revolving um, around children of yours or your um, 
This could also be your spouse's children, okay? For some of you, there could be conflicts around children, possibly with the child's mother or child's father, and there's a need. I do feel this energy of compromise coming forth. There's a need for you all to stop overthinking it. For some of you all, this is triggering um, abandonment issues around you not having a father uh, when you grew up or a mother. But I definitely feel like there is going to be compromise coming to a situation and there's a need for you to release the worries and release the emotional baggage around the cancer. Because I definitely feel like the universe is uh, intervening in some type of family dynamic for you all, okay? Alright, so which which brings me to my first angel message. And for some of y'all, this could definitely involve a damn fire sign or air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or a um, um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, okay? First angel message I got, and I'm going to be honest with you, these fell out together both times that I picked them up and tried to put them out. They actually, I don't give a damn how much I shuffled, they came popping out together. So Aries could have to do with uh, this angel message that I'm getting ready to, or you could have Aries in your chart. But I definitely feel the energy of a new start or a renewal of some sort or stresses around it. And someone's kind of standing in their own way with this lack mentality, okay? So what I got for you all was Beloved One, Archangel Chamuel. I'm helping you with your spiritual soulmate relationship, okay? For some of you all, this has to do with someone speaking up or speaking out. Someone's fearing speaking up or speaking out because there's this sense of they don't want to. I feel like Cancer, if this is you, you or another person doesn't want to stir waves. It doesn't want to. There's an energy of making things worse than what they already are. So someone feels as if. Someone feels, feels a bit unbalanced to reach out during this time or to really express themselves and how they feel about a situation. And I feel like it's in order to um, either make another person happy with speaking their truth. I'm also hearing the one that got away, Cancer. Either you or, you or another person is feeling as if you're the one that got away, okay? For some of you all, you are being divinely, uh, you are being divinely guided to take some type of action when it comes to speaking up and speaking up in a situation. For some of you all, this could have to do with the mother figure. This could also have to do with the spouse's mother standing your ground, okay? Without this fear of lack or loss or feeling as if you're gonna fuck something up or speaking up for your damn self, because I feel like you are being called, you are being used or channeled rather to do so. For some of you all, um, you may be going through um, sore throats um, in the first half of November. So I'm, I'm feeling energy of sore throats or issues around the throat chakra. Some of you all, I'm hearing no words to say. Someone doesn't know or have the words to say. I'm also hearing word vomit. Okay, so some of you guys, someone could be coming forth and just literally spitting shit out because I feel like somebody has been suppressing something for quite some time. Okay. The next message I got for you all was peace. Archangel Chemuel. Peace comes from remembering that only love is real, okay? For some of you all, again, there's a need for you all to release release some type of burden. You all are going through a recycling. Um, for some of you all in here, recycling, and I feel like that's for those of you who chose to not make a decision and hold on to karmic situations. Spirit is getting ready to intervene in the first half of November, y'all, and fuck some shit up. And I feel like they're wanting you to, and, and I feel like it's, it's overall for your highest good, for your peace. Because for some of you all, you're running yourself ragged, trying to be everything everything you can for other people. But I feel like for some of you all, there's a relationship here that's lacking. There's a need for you to focus your intentions on the things that you truly value. And for those of you, if this involves work, for some of you all, you need to ask yourself, what do I, what, what is my motivation? What's my reason for doing what I do? Like, what do I do it for? What motivates me to keep going? Because I feel like whatever that is, whatever that answer is for some of you all, that department is lacking, and there's some type of realization of that. Okay. Conversations to be had. Peace. For some of you all, um, I definitely feel like someone is coming to speak a truth. I also heard apology. Someone also wants to balance out a situation with you, Cancer. Someone may have feel as if they wronged you in the past. Someone could have also abandoned you. This could definitely have to do with the child's mother or child's father. I keep hearing the spouse, the spouse. Your spouse could also be going through those Cancers who are in relationships. Your spouse could have a situation coming back from the past that they're needing some type of closure on. Someone's feeling guilty about something or a decision that they made in the past that they're having a hard time releasing. Releasing and they just want peace. Spirit is saying peace is going to be bestowed back onto you, Cancer. 
I am feeling this obsessive feeling. Some of, some of y'all could have someone stalking. Some of y'all could be finding out that you have two people working together. Um, this person could also be going to others, getting outside perspectives on how to bring some type of compromise back to a situation, asking their friends or talking to some type of mother figure about this. For some of you all, you're having to release the situation in order to experience this rebirth and go through this sense of peace or experience this sense of peace. I do feel a lot of um, sacral chakra energy here, cancer, as well as solar plexus. So some of you all may be a lot hot in the pants, okay? There's a need for you all to temper. I'm here and temper your emotions, ground yourself. Some of you all may be, um, may be listening to uh, meditations like water meditations when you go to sleep. Some of you all, you may have very vivid dreams during this time. Some of you guys, um, I'm, I'm, I'm hearing, I'm hearing sensing elevation, sensing elevation. Someone also could sense your elevation cancer, and this is why they're wanting to come back and balance the situation because they feel as if they don't have any type of access to you anymore. Some of you all are cutting someone's access due to the fact that you're tired of overcompromising, um, within a situation, overextending yourself. For a situation not to be transmuted, some of y'all could be dealing with a mutable sign, a Virgo, Sagittarius, Gemini, Pisces. The last angel message I got for you all is spiritual understanding, Archangel Raziel. I'm bringing you esoteric information and symbols helping you to understand spiritual truths, okay? So for some of you all, again, that has to do with your subconscious space. Some of you all, you're going through some type of reprogramming of the subconscious. So the way that you see things, the way that you feel about things, you, you, you're learning how to take your emotion, remove your emotions, um, remove your emotions. Pretty much like, how can I say it? Primarily depending on emotions. Some of you all are using more logic during this time versus the emotions. You're grounding your emotions and keeping your peace, not with the wall, but with the with, with the sense of compassion uh, for a particular situation or per person or circumstance. And for some of you all, you're really thinking about karma during this time, okay? Some of you all could also be experiencing a sense of karma as well or the fruits in which you've laid, I'm hearing, within the heart, uh, within the foundations of the heart. Karma can be good or bad. It just depends on the seeds that you've sown, okay? With this, for some of you all, you could be dreaming about some type of sacred geometrical symbols, okay? For some of you all, this also has to do with some type of activation um, of the throat chakra as well as the heart chakra for some of you all based on some type of epiphany or downloads that you guys are having within the damn crown chakra. So I definitely feel like this sense of alignment, attunement of the chakras, this sense of alignment, things are being aligned for you, Cancer. And if you're having to release a uh, release an individual is because a release a situation is because spirit is trying to align you with I'm hearing a divine outcome. An outcome of divinity. Blessed. I'm hearing birthright, inheritance, okay? This is your inheritance, cancer. For some of you all this has to do with um possibly a twin flame union. Okay. Others of you I'm hearing this has definitely to do with a, of some type of co-parenting relationship with the child's mother, child's father. Wherever there was a situation where someone felt as if they were on the outside looking in, spirit is giving you. For some of y'all, you may be dreaming of a person and I feel like you're dreaming of them like from a third party, from a third party aspect. Like you're able to see why a person does or some type of trauma. Some of y'all also may be dreaming of someone and dreaming of some type of childhood trauma of theirs. To learn how to compromise with this person, to learn how to approach the situation for that matter, or this person is having that energy around you. Okay? I'm definitely hearing a person. All right? Here, what messages do you have? My cancers. I'm going back to the babies. Someone rather than this as a cross watchers for the first half of November 2019. What messages do you have for my cancers? Okay, so some of you all could definitely be, uh, some of y'all have a person that's heavily watching you, you could be watching another person, okay? This could be someone who you feel as if cut you off um, abruptly or you cut them off abruptly, okay? For some of you all, this could have to do with the Leo as well. Some of you guys could actually, could be cutting off a damn Leo during this time. I feel like this person don't know how the hell to talk to you and you just telling them put some damn respect on your name, okay? For others of you, this Leo wants the other. Somebody is watching. Somebody is 
somebody is spying on you, Cancer. You spying on another person because I feel like it's with good intention. Somebody wants to come in. They want to have the courage to come in and fix the situation. Um, however, there's this sense of in, indecisiveness. I feel like somebody's on a damn emotional roller coaster. One day they're like, yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to go. I'm going to talk to Cancer. I'm going to go tell Cancer. I'm sorry. I'm going to go fix this shit. And then they just get stuck in this stagnant energy sitting there looking at ugly ass birds okay some of you guys could definitely be dealing with a fire sign every single Sagittarius for others of you um for others of you this could be the mother or father of someone's child watching you someone feels as if their child's parent is not coming towards them so they're trying to see like I'm hearing this and I'm hearing this energy of what 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 does this person have on me? What does this person have on me? For some of you all, this could also have to do with your partner. Uh, I'm hearing retrograde energy. So retrograde is bringing uh, people back from their past where there wasn't any type of closure. But unbeknownst to you, some of y'all, your partner is holding um, this sense of trauma that they're holding energy that they're, need to, that they're needing to release by gaining closure in situations. And this is also going to be a test um on a trigger to your confidence because for some of you all you could be working on how you see yourself okay yeah for some of you all um some of you all someone wants to come in and make things right with you this could be an earth sign capricorn towards virgo or a water sign cancer pisces scorpio but someone just does not know and it could also be fire but someone does not have the know-how cancer this person is definitely a soulmate. For some of you all, this could definitely be someone who you've cut off, cut off in the recent past, or there could be thoughts about it because there's there's this this sense of lacking and compromise, babies. But I also feel here that for some of you all, this person is coming back to trigger you during this time because for some of y'all, you keep sweeping the you keep sweeping your need to heal this sense of emotional baggage around abandonment, okay, or rejection. This person is triggering that aspect of you in order to be healed so that you can walk in harmony with this co-creation of the, like this co-creation with the universe, as well as bringing this union in full circle and trusting that it's going to be um, a successful outcome moving forward. Okay. Yeah. Some of you all could definitely be, um, some of y'all could definitely have a Capricorn in Aries and Libra, another Cancer. Some of you guys could be waiting for communication from another person or a person is anticipating communication from you. This again, but someone is delaying the communication or choosing not to deal with it because there's this fear of being rejected. Someone feels as if they're not financially stable enough or they don't have enough for you or you may feel like this about another person. Yeah. Which is causing you to be, both of y'all really to be a bit defensive or it could have caused Hmm. For some of y'all, this could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Somebody could have actually been defensive towards the idea of solid commitment. Someone had a hard time letting their damn exes go. They have this lag mindset or this this feeling of feeling as if they've lost something or they're going to lose out on an opportunity for something. But what they entertain is bullshit. What they've been entertaining is bullshit. For some of you, for some of you, this somebody's definitely feeling it left out or cut off from a younger fire sign as well. This person, you can feel like this person is being very defensive towards you. For some of you all, for some of y'all, this could actually be what you're experiencing in the month of November because I def definitely see some type of tower moment here for some of y'all. Some of y'all are getting ready to cut off a Scorpio completely because this person is disloyal. For others of you, there's a need for you to lay a situation to rest or there is heavy thoughts or like this sense of indecision around cutting off a younger fire sign. I feel like you feel as if you've invested a lot into this. And so because you've invested in and in, invested so much into this relationship, this person, this thing, you don't want to leave it behind and lay it to rest altogether. But at the same time, you can't cut off the sense of this this feeling of damn betrayal. Some of you all are being called to be the tower in somebody's life during this time. By accepting this new offer. For some of you all, this is uh, involving a Cancer Pisces Scorpio that wants to come in and start things slow. They want to renew things with you. They want to say, I'm sorry. 
For some of y'all, this person could also be buying you something during this time. Somebody's going to be receiving some type of jewelry. Some of you all, Cancers, I feel as if you have a Pisces that wants to come back and mend things with you, but be careful about this because whoever this person is, I feel like they're looking out for themselves so that they don't take some type of, this person is trying to get some type of finances or maybe you and this person have children or actually you're a child support. So this person could actually be trying to finesse you out of putting child support on them or this is, this is their intentions with this situation and this offer cancer is about security them being secure or some type of saving some type of financial like like putting a heart to some type of financial loss or something being withdrawn yeah for some of you all, there is some type of truth and clarity. Whatever, if you're dealing with a fire sign, whatever it is, whatever it was that this person was resisting, either being unveiled or coming to the surface, with this being Scorpio season, Mercury being in retrograding in Scorpio, everything is going to be unveiled, baby. Ain't no more damn deal. We in this good old Martian slash Plutonic energy with chatty ass Mercury Gemini energy. Some of y'all could also be coming out of, yeah, some of y'all could be choosing to cut out the air sign. Because this person is indecisive on making a decision around some type of leaving some type of commitment of somebody who they have kids with. Some of y'all are dealing with a water sign and have a fucking drinking problem. And I feel like this person drinks to not deal with their emotions or to not deal with the issues at hand. So overall, you get no damn resolution. And some of you all, okay, so there could also be secrets coming out around a child. Um, this could have to do with the water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, a Leo, a Sagittarius, or an, or an Aries person. For some of you all, this has to do with an air sign. Some of y'all could be finding out that you've been committed to a person who got a damn sex addiction and was going out here making babies and not taking care of them. For some of you all, this hurts because you really wanted to trust this person and believe in what they were telling you. For some of you all, I'm hearing five years, eight years, ten years, eleven years, three years. I'm hearing seven months, nine months, ten months. For some of you all, you could have been dealing with this person for quite some time. There is going to be some type of truth coming out regarding children, okay? And I definitely feel like it's involving someone who you love. This person, y'all really love each other, but somebody has to be willing to let go their whole life, okay? Because I definitely feel like somebody's having a hard time letting go their whole life. If you're dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, this person is wanting to come back and express their love to you, but they know that things cannot move forward without them, um, without them clarifying things or without them... <clears throat> Huh. without them completely laying the situation to rest from the past. Like someone, you for some of y'all, you're putting your boundaries up with this person and giving them an ultimatum or someone's giving you an ultimatum during this time, Cancer. For some of you all, you're telling somebody from their past, especially if, from, if you're telling your spouse, especially if you're connected to a water sign, that they have to move away from people from their past. This person is having a hard time doing that. They feel this sense of, well, what if, what if this is not right? Or what if I can't trust in this reconciliation? Or what if this doesn't go? Like somebody's manipulatively trying to hold on to things out of this space of security. Somebody got a lack mindset. But some of you all, some of y'all, there is a new beginning trying to flourish with the fire sign or someone from your past. Some of you guys could definitely be seeing 11-11 a whole lot. Some of you all could also be seeing 2, two, two during this time. Balance, babies. Things being balanced out, duality being um, integrated. For others of you, some of y'all, there's a need for you to go back and like return back to some type of hobby. Some of you all are music producers. Some of you all could also be um, singers, writers. Some of you all, um, some of y'all could have been working on a book. Some of you all are also working on channels. Some of you all, there's a need for you to continue uh, speaking life into speaking life into your goals, speaking life into your dreams, speaking life into your purpose. Because for some of you all, you're healers. I'm here, medicine woman. Some of you all, um, you may want to go into some type of like aesthetic practice. If um, for some of y'all, if it's not aesthetic, it could also be some type of like a cult practice. But you you could have came up with some type of religious background. You're afraid of how you're going to be received by family and friends. There's a need for you to put yourself first, okay? For some of you all, yeah. 
Some of you all are dropping the burdens around this damn Queen of Wands, okay? Some of y'all are stuck. Some of y'all are letting go of a fire sign because you have an opportunity to start something new with an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, a water sign. I feel like if you're dealing with an air sign, this person is dishonest. Some of y'all are making a judgment call on the damn Sagittarius or dealing with a Sagittarius who needs to make a judgment call regarding a fire sign who they could have separated from. Some of y'all are going to tell that damn Virgo, go to fucking rehab, but you got to get out of my life without that damn drinking because when you drink, you talk to me crazy and I have enough love for myself. I know my worth and I know what I'm I know what I'm trying to manifest. And this shit that you hear, this shit you offering, it ain't it. Some of you guys also are moving towards an Aquarius or one uh, or yeah, somebody, somebody's going to offer an Aquarius a solid offer where there could have been a bunch of deceptions and games in the past. Somebody took away access to another person. And by you doing this, and by you doing this in the month of November, for some of you all, you are being caught like you are the tower. Some of y'all are, are the catalyst to someone's awakening by walking away from them. Some of you all are being forced to move away from a situation due to someone uh, possibly moving. If there was a third party, I definitely feel that the third party, uh, the third party is going to be illuminated. There's going to be well, information around the third party is going to be illuminated. And I feel like whoever this third party is in that first half of November, they're moving away. Somebody is starting a new relationship. Okay. Some of y'all, your spouse is stressed out because that third party is moving away. They could be a Pisces, Libra, Aries, Taurus. This person could be the mother or father of their children. This person could also be pregnant. You could be pregnant. But you're moving away. Taking your peace with you and just trusting in God and the universe. Angels, what messages do you have for cancer? Some of y'all could definitely be dealing with a Scorpio. They fail. Who else fail? Capricorn. What do you have for my hmm. crystal clear intentions? Someone, some of y'all is checking somebody's intentions. Someone's you're learning. And it's, I feel like it was divinely guided for you to be learning. Some of y'all are learning that you have to drop a person because they don't have crystal clear intentions. They, they focused on self. And they were focused on self in the past and what you could do for them. This person just knew you was going to let them back in your life. And some of y'all, you cutting their ass out and you choose a new. And new comes flying in for you all. For some of you all, releasing someone is also going to remove some type of karmic energy or karmic, karmic energy blockage around your money. Okay? So I got crystal, crystal clear intentions, Archangel Michael. Be clear about what you desire and focus on it with unwavering faith. Spirit is saying, listen, I'm trying to give you what it is that you want, baby. But you have to speak and speak truthfully. Speak from a space of balance and be willing to bring, be willing to give yourself and provide yourself that balance within your own world. And stand up for that and, and kind of take that. I don't know why I'm here and take the bull by its horns and bring yourself that back. Bring yourself this. Or manifest this for yourself. And the things that you attract while in this energy will be divinely blessed, baby. Spirit is trying to send you a blessing. But you holding on to situations that keep you stressing. Why though? <laughs> I hope this reading was helpful, you guys. This is what I have for you all for the first half of November. I look forward to speaking to you all for the mid-months. Hopefully I have my shit together. You guys, so much is changing. And there's a need for you all to embrace the change, embrace the shed, and embrace the rebirth. For some of you all, this is about ascending. And everybody can't go, especially when they ain't done the work. You done done the work, so it's time for you to get your reward. All right? So if you need a personal, y'all hit me up. I love you all a long time. Peace, love, and namaste, you guys.